Right. Now, um, what do you mean by a Firefox profile? If I open up, if I run this program, gmail.java, if I am executing this program, you will observe that the fire, Firefox which opens up hold on get Firefox open yeah the Firefox which, which opens up is very different in nature than the normal Firefox on your machine it's got no firebug inside it it's not got the bookmarks which are there in my regular Firefox window Okay, it is, it is it's like a fresh Firefox. Okay, why is it like that? Why can't I have Firebug in the window in which the actually testing is happening? Suppose if, if something fails, I won't be able to investigate my element in the window in which the testing is actually taking place. How do I manage that? Right, this is a question for many people. Right, the answer to this question lies in the concept of fire. Fox profiling. Okay, now what is a Firefox profile? It's something like uh, multiple instances of Firefox on the same window, on the same machine. Sorry. Suppose myself and my friend, we both are sharing the same machine. I want that when I open Firefox, I should see my own set of settings, my own set of bookmarks in Firefox. I want that when my friend opens up Firefox, he should be seeing his set of settings and his own set of bookmarks. Okay. Or I want that when Selenium opens up the Firefox window, it should open up in, it should actually have some proxy settings inside that Firefox because sometimes when you do some testing and all, you, you need to do some proxy settings in your browser and then do the testing. Right, so you want Selenium to do some proxy settings in the browser and then start the testing. Right, otherwise, when a normal, when you do the normal browsing, the proxy settings should be there. So all this is done to the Firefox profile. You need to create Firefox profiles on your system. It's done something like this. Make sure that you. Close Firefox window on your machine from the file exit menu. Don't close it from the cross on the top right. Close it from the file exit menu. And go to your run menu and then write firefox.exe hyphen p profile manager. Okay. And click on OK. So you get a window like this, right? When you get a window like this, you can create, these are the existing profiles on my system, two different instances. I can create a new profile called as say September SCPT. I create this profile and I write start Firefox. So this particular profile will start up, it will be like a fresh Firefox in your in your whole system. Okay? And suppose I go to Google and I download Firepath in it. I just write over here download Firepath. So I download and install. fire path in this hold on right so okay, I did not get fire path Hold on. Okay, I'm sorry. To install Firepath, you should be having Firebug first in your system. 
always remember firebug should be there in the system before installing firebug Just a minute, hold on. Right. And suppose in this particular profile, I go and bookmark this site as well. The Firebird site I have bookmarked. And also I have in this profile the Firebird or the fiber. Right? Now I want to open this particular profile. Okay. No, it's not every time Shalini, it's only uh, for the very first time if the fiber will not present. Okay. In my this particular profile, fiber was not present. Yeah, in, if you are making a fresh profile in your system, then you have to install Firebug in it from the website. It is, it has to be done because in that fresh profile, Firebug will not be present. Okay, every time you know that can cannot be handled as a profile, you have to install it. Okay, now I want to have this profile opened up. No, no, Shalini, it's not like that. Okay. Maybe it's like that and I am wrong, but as far as my experience goes, it, it's not like that. Okay? To open this particular profile, right, you can write like this. You can create the object of an inbuilt class called as profile ini all profile equals to new profile ini. Profiles INI is an inbuilt class. Okay, create the object and you write all profiles dot get the profile. You get the profile called the profile which I just created. Okay, which profile I created? This is the command. Okay, I give this command to everybody on Webex as well. I have pinned the command to everybody. And if I write Firefox profile hyphen P, I created the profile September SEPT. So I write as I have to get this profile. And this returns me the object of an internal class called Firefox profile. And you run you pass on this profile object while creating the object of Firefox driver. This profile object you pass it in the object of Firefox driver and that particular profile will open and go to Gmail. If I run this code now, you will see that the profile which I just created will be opened and that profile will actually go inside the Firefox profile, the Firefox which will be opened now will be from that particular profile. And you see that that particular profile comes up. Now the Firefox which Selenium has opened has got Firebug in it. And this is very important because in practical scenarios people always want that the window in which I am testing I should be able to identify the objects in that particular window. Okay, and this you see, it has got the bookmark which I had done. Right? This is that particular profile. Okay, now if you have to do some proxy settings, you can do those proxy settings in this particular Firefox profile and make it work. Now, while testing HTTPS websites, we use the profiling concept. Right? Now, this kind of profiling is not there for IE and Chrome. For Internet Explorer driver and for Chrome driver, you do not have this kind of profiling. Okay, right. So let me execute the same code which I made today. I'll just comment this. I'll execute it on Chrome. Yesterday I told you, right? 
how to work with chrome you have to set the system property chrome right you have to you have to set the path of the chrome driver then go to gmail.com and enter the username password suppose what i'll do is i'll give the right path x path for the email okay so now if i run this with chrome driver everything will work because these all functions find element and all all these functions are there in the chrome driver class as well if you look at the output you see that it has entered the username and password in chrome as well so you just need to change the class over here and all the code remains same this is because both chrome driver and firefox driver they are implementing the web driver interface okay both all the functions find element and all are also there in chrome driver they are also there in firefox driver every class has those functions right so now <coughs> sorry okay in this if i want to write if i create the object of i driver that is internet explorer driver that will also work this is not a big deal fine now in chrome driver you know there you will always find when after executing the script on chrome driver okay if you go to your task manager you will see that chrome driver dot exe would still be running okay these exes are from the past execution just hold on you should prevent these exes for to run from your idles in your systems like this every time i run this this chrome driver will i would actually be executing so in the end of your script you should always write the line driver dot quit this will actually quit that exe and from the system resources right and one more thing when the chrome driver is running if you refresh your project a log file is always generated in case of chrome driver if you open up this log file you will see that what happened you will see the complete log okay this is a little technical log but you you will you are navigating to gmail.com and everything you are entering something into the username field right so that's how it would works there is a log file which is generated automatically with the chrome driver okay and so right um